Earth formed about 4.6 billion years ago. But initially there was no solid surface, no oxygen in the atmosphere, and no oceans. Earth was a molten orb. We are now traveling forward in time on the highway of life. Each yellow line passing underneath us represents 10 million years. During this time, Earth formed some solid land and liquid water oceans, and the organic molecules that are the building blocks of life began their courtship. Chemical evolution ruled the planet. Molecules that could stand the environment endured while those that could not simply dissolved. After 600 million years, biology has taken over, rising above simple molecules that could chemically duplicate themselves. We now have primitive cells living in the ocean that are the ancestors of all living things today. After another half billion years, or 3.5 billion years ago, these primitive cells have learned photosynthesis. This ability to get energy from sunlight is arguably the single most important biochemical pathway, and nearly all life depends on it. And after another few eons have passed, this process will generate an oxygen-rich atmosphere. But for now, we have arrived at our first real fork in the road. It is three billion years ago, and the primitive cells have divided into two distinct camps. Archaea and bacteria look very similar. Both are single-celled microorganisms, but their DNA is very different. Some archaeans are capable of surviving in extreme habitats. They can survive in high temperatures, often above 100 degrees centigrade, as found in geysers black smokers, and oil wells. Some thrive in saline, acidic, or extremely alkaline water. They are responsible for the brilliantly colored pools at Yellowstone that are scaldingly hot. And it is in this direction that we proceed. Now we approach our next crossroad. It is 1.4 billion years ago, and we must bid the Archaea adieu after traveling with them for 1.6 billion years. Life remains single-celled, but a new player is now on the scene. Eukaryotes are cells that have a nucleus. Today, this domain includes animals, plants, fungi, and numerous microorganisms. The origin of a cell nucleus was a milestone in the evolution of life. All complex cells, and almost all the multicellular organisms, have a cell nucleus. Not only that, eukaryotes invented sex. The next important development in our journey happened after eukaryotes developed flagellum. These eukaryotic flagellates then branched into those that had a single flagellum or those that had two or more, the unicons and the bicons. Most animal sperm and fungi spores propel themselves with a single posterior flagellum. So we can count unicons as our ancestors. In contrast, Phalangeate cells and other eukaryote groups propel themselves with one or more anterior flagella. They come from bicons. Animals come from unicons, and plants come from bicons. So we must part ways with plants and protists. So long, guys. It is interesting that fungi are more closely related to animals than plants. But now, we must wave goodbye to fungi as well as they had downtime on their own to become mushrooms and yeast and molds. Have a good life, cousins. Animals, here we come.
we have just traveled 4 billion years. 